Hi Pisces, welcome to your spirit messages for the month of April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Pisces, I've decided to bring this series back. If you are familiar with my channel, I did these the end of last year, I think into January. So if you did participate in the polls I had on my community tab of my channel, I asked what readings uh, would most likely, um, would most like to be seen or performed. And this was part of, the spirit messages was part of the new readings uh, or readings people would like to see. So I'm bringing it back. So please leave me some feedback, comments below. I'll do it for a while and see how it goes. I may or may not keep them again this time, depending. So, you know, I hope you like this. So let's see what's going on with you, Pisces, at this time, what spirit wants you to know. This is for sun, moon, rising, and Jupiter, male or female. And I will say take what resonates, um, but it is, you know, messages, confirmation, advice, guidance, however you like to see it. So, you know, if you feel like certain messages are for you, but some aren't, that's totally fine. Um, <clears throat> but please keep that in mind. Uh, sometimes it could be past, present, or future energy, uh, if you feel it could be that also. So I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody is, sa is um, staying safe during this time. So let's see what is going on with you. Pisces, I will pull three oracles from uh, the three oracle decks here. So it'll be a total of nine, and then I'll use the tarot to pull like maybe one or two on each card to get a little more meaning. And then at the end, I have these prayer cards. I actually purchased this, um, them at the Dollar Tree, and there were two sets. I mixed them together. So at the end, I'll give you a little prayer or um, uh, <laughs> it, you could call it a prayer or you could call it an affirmation. That's what I want to say. So however you'd like to see it, they are religious in connotation. So if you're not comfortable with that, then you can always click off at that time. But I'll pull one of the, one of those for you at the end. All tongue-tied. Hmm, are you uh, tongue-tied right now, Pisces? I don't know. So let's see what's going on for you at this time. Everything you need to know, Pisces, is down below in the description box and the first pinned top comment. Um, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, that info is below. And uh, your playlist out there also, if you'd like to go back, I consider all my readings timeless, love and general playlist. Um, what else? A lot of info, info down there. So decks I'm using, uh, links to purchase them from Amazon if you wish to. So please check that out. And if you do, thank you. So <clears throat> if you're not comfortable using PayPal to tip, donate, or energy exchange during the premiere only, Super Chat is open and available for uh, donations, tips, energy exchanges. And if you do, thank you. All right, Pisces. So let's see what messages we have for you. We have relationship dynamics. So this can be families. Uh, it can be your immediate family. It can be your um, partnership. If you're in a relationship with a significant other, it could be also friends that are like family. It could be your coworkers. So we're going to clarify that energy. So something may be going on there could be good or bad or changes, however that resonates. And we have support. So you could be given in receiving support from others, or this is telling you maybe you need uh, support here from family, friends. Um, it could be financial support. It could be you know, reaching out for some sort of uh, financial support, um, not necessarily friends and family, but maybe applying for support of some kind. Um, could even be going for therapy or guidance uh, in some way. Uh, social groups or something like that so there you may be going through some sort of change or something in a relationship where you need some guidance and support in some way shape or form during uh, a certain time and then we have here body changes so that's been coming out a lot <clears throat> so some of you have been thinking about I don't know maybe changing your wardrobe cutting your hair doing something totally different with your image I say go for it or this could be actually uh, you know maybe taking up a new routine exercise routine getting a little more fit or something like that or maybe your body is actually going through physical changes right now you no know, changes of life all right so let's see all right Let's get three of these for you, Pisces. Three of these for you, Pisces. 
All right. I just got a weird message of some of you have gone through some sort of body changes. Maybe it's affected your relationship with somebody here. And now you need support through this or something. However, that makes sense for you. Kind of a little bit of an odd message. But all right, let's get three of these for you. <clears throat> Pisces. I'm feeling one, two. All right, let me get one more. One more for Pisces. One more. For Pisces, please, Spirit, thank you so much. I feel like one wants to jump out, but maybe not. For Pisces, please, one more. For, okay, here we go. All right, let's see what we have. We have, your wishes are coming true. What your heart has been longing for is getting closer each day. And that could actually be a leveling up of a relationship. Maybe them, you know, finally... <clears throat> reciprocating you know support maybe you always you know supported them and I don't mean financially it could be emotionally um, or something like that and now maybe they're ready to reciprocate and support you for a change and it's like your wishes dreams coming true we'll see cleanse your energy when you release negativity the answer to your question shines through and then we have here, time to decide, make a decision now so you can move forward. I feel like somebody, it could be you or a person here. Somebody could have finally cleansed their energy of something no longer serving them or negativity or negative thinking about a relationship. And deciding here to uh, come forward here and make change. And the body changes could actually be no changes in a relationship and now <clears throat> deciding to reciprocate you know having like su supporting one another not just being all one way if it was you giving giving to a relationship now the other person wants to step up and do their part now and it could be a lover it could be uh, a brother a sister you know a family member a friend that's like family um, a co-worker it could be anything here Wow, okay, so let's get three of these. <clears throat> three of these for you, Pisces. Three of these for you, Pisces. Some of you also, if you were having troubles with a relationship, maybe, you know, together you went to, made changes together and, got, and went and received some kind of support, you know, therapy, guidance, or whatever here, and cleansing the negative energy getting rid of that negative energy and deciding to do this to better the relationship. And now with the wishes uh, coming true here, um, things just getting better. And again, it could be any type of relationship. All right, so let's see. For some of you could be um, going off on your own and cleansing your energy of things that were no longer serving you. And making those changes, cleansing your energy of something, you know, and deciding to do that. So a lot of different messages here, Pisces. So I hope it's not confusing, but again, take it how it resonates for you. <clears throat> so these are your messages from spirit that if you're sitting in any of these energies, it's time to decide and cleanse something no longer serving you so that your wishes and dreams can come true, getting support if you need it making changes and it could be around relationships breach breaking through something breaking through here i feel or maybe somebody broken has broken your trust or broken a contract or you know a friendship or a marriage or something like that broke the rules of you know true friendship or trust or marriage or relationship dynamic here or something's breaking through or somebody had a breakthrough here about a relationship all right so what is well no <laughs> let's get let's get a couple more i'm getting ahead of myself here rain purification so something being washed away so cleansing your energy washing that energy away and it could be emotionally releasing that and just purifying yourself of that energy releasing you know, all that energy, purging it out through 
tears, through laughter, through therapy, through whatever you needed to. I feel like rain, purging, and then purification. All right, so what else? One more. One more. Oh, okay. One more. One more. For Pisces, please spare it. There you go. So we have ornamental equinox release. So maybe it could have been this past, because we are in spring now. So it could be maybe this past fall. There's been some sort of release. Um, and I had felt that walking away. So this release could be finally just releasing something and making that decision to make a change to release something no longer serving you, purging out of it out of your system, negative energy or something no longer serving you, and then purifying your energy, and washing it away, <clears throat> having this breakthrough. And it could be somebody actually breached a friendship, a relationship of some kind. But uh, you may have support from your friends and family around you also at this time. So don't be afraid to reach out to them. But you have wishes coming true for the future. Could be a new relationship dynamic of some kind or renewing a relationship dynamic or cleansing it. You know, however, like I said, it resonates for you. So let's see. Let's clarify these energies for you Pisces. I do ask Pisces, especially if you're new. Um, feel free to check out my channel if you like the way I read and my energy. Check it out. You like what you see. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about five readings a month. I do a love reading. I do a general reading. I do a spirit messages. I do a singles love reading if you're single. Then I do a bonus reading where we take a little look at a little bit of love, what's going on in your life, and then advice for you. So if you're interested in all that, hit the bell. Or you can check out my channel first. And if you do, thank you. So Pisces, what is this right relationship dynamics all about? Spirit, please, for Pisces, what is this relationship? So we have the hanged man here, Celtic Owl, and that is your energy, Pisces. So something in a relationship could have been on a pause, on a break, kind of at a standstill. But then there's new perspectives being um, enlightenment, new perspectives kind of energy. So what else do we have? Why is the hanged man here? For relationship dynamics. Oh, that's way too many. This is here. Six of Wands energy. So success, victory, accomplishment. So if something's been on a pause, a break, a standstill. I had said that somebody here, I feel like, has gained enlightenment and now they six of spirals. They want success, victory, and they want uh they want to give uh, equal re re um, oh, balance, reciprocation is what I'm trying to say, and relationship now, I feel. So what is the support for Pisces? What is support for, eh, dropping everything. Ace of Stones. So we have a brand new solid beginning here, long term. Somebody here wants to come in now and have a brand new beginning, a renewal, or now they want this long-term stability. They want a long-term commitment. Or they want to, um, they want this long-term, stable, grounded, growth, abundant energy now. They're ready to be your, they're ready to be your rock. Again, it, it doesn't have to be love. It could be, again, a friend, family, anybody here. They're ready to be a rock for you, and they want this long-term abundant new beginning with you. Wow. All right. So what is this body changes about for? And I see the sun there peeking through, which is the best, best card you can get. All right. What is this body changes about for Pisces? The sun... Didn't I not just say the sun? <laughs> wow. Some sort of change here. Brand new beginning. It's very stable. You could trust it. And there's your happiness, your joy, your healing, your enlightenment, your happy home and family, success, victory in every single way in life. Whatever change happens here is will be nothing but the greatest outcome for you. The best, best for you. 
Pisces. Wow. All right. So what is this wishes coming true here for the sun does represent masculine energy, male, and it doesn't have to be an actual male. It can be somebody who embodies masculine energy, male or female. Somebody may, may have been crying over this. I do see a tear there. Now they're ready to come in and be the rock that you always wanted them to be, whether this is a renewal or something new or healing, something. What is this? Your wishes are coming true. So again, this is a pause, a break, um, rejuvenation, healing. <clears throat> and it says your heart has been longing what your heart has been longing for is getting closer each day so this is like you waiting <laughs> waiting 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 you know healing uh recuperating retreating just sort of waiting for your heart's desire dreaming dreaming about your heart's desire but little do you know during this time that your wishes and dreams were coming true what do we have here? So we have the King of Mirrors, which is your energy, Pisces. And then we have the King of Stones. So we have a couple, we have two males here. But, I mean, you may have a choice between two people. But this could be male or female, doesn't matter here. But here is you, King or Queen of Mirrors, Cups. That's your energy. And this is actually the Pisces. And then you have this King or Queen coming in for you, Stones, Pentacles, who is very stable, grounded, secure, um, smart, you know, so someone here ready is ready to come in here and be this solid rock. Like I said, stones, stones, ready to be, uh, your rock. I feel that's your wish and dream coming true. That's your wish. All right. So what is this cleanse your energy? This is almost turning out to be like a love reading for you, Pisces. <laughs> All right, Pisces, but this is what spirit wants you to know. So what is cleanse your energy? So this person could be an earth sign or have heavy earth in their chart or they're just in that energy. <clears throat> what is this cleanse your energy? Ten of spirals. So that's laying down heavy burdens no longer serving you. So this could be you or your person or somebody around you. Now it's deciding to release too many burdens, too many, you know, being at a crossroads and carrying too many burdens and just trying to... And just finally releasing that energy. Someone finally cleansing that energy. Is there any more for Pisces? Any more for Pisces about cleansing your energy? All right, so we have the Nine of Spirals and the Three of Mirrors. So somebody's cleansed their energy and they release burdens. They were once at a crossroads, but now the Nine of Spirals, they want to fight for something. You know, they've been through it. They've had all this burdensome energy kind of energy. But now, you know, they fought through it. They've been through it. They released it. And now they want to reunite, come back together, have compassion, caring, nurturing, giving kind of energy. So they've cleansed their energy. And now they're more in a compassionate, loving, caring energy. So as you see the lion and the lamb showing compassion to one another. All right. So what is this time to decide for? For Pisces, for Pisces, it was the chariot. Yeah, so someone's decided here to take positive movement forward. Drive, ambition, <clears throat> balance, energy, success, and victory. So someone decided here now to, says, make a decision now so you can move forward. And this is successful balance movement forward very quickly. So either you or them, somebody has made that decision to Drive this forward very quickly. Very passionate. We made that choice. Wow. Okay. So what is this whale and breach about for Pisces? Seven of Pentacles energy. You might have been waiting. This is you waiting on this person. Waiting for them to have some sort of breakthrough. Or are you in this energy? But I feel like it could be this person because we now we have the pentacle energy again. So you could have been waiting for this person to have a breakthrough of some kind. So is there any more here for Pisces? The Emperor. You're waiting them for them to have a breakthrough. And now they're taking lead control, taking charge, coming forward in this chariot. They're breaking through. They're breaking free. They could be breaching a contract themselves out of something else to come to you. 
here. What? Someone's taking control of this situation, driving this chariot forward, having more love, compassion, fighting for it, releasing energy, no longer serving them, wanting this brand new beginning, success, victory. Once was paused and still and stagnant between you and somebody else is now moving forward. Wow, a lot of good energy here. Sun is a best, best card. So what is this rain and purification? Knight of Stones. So slow movement forward. So it might have been a slow process here <clears throat> for somebody to purge and release and purify and wash something away and release something no longer serving them. But now, you know, it was probably a slow process of peace, harmony, balance. But now they're coming forward, the Knight of Stones, Knight of Pentacles, in a very stable, stable way. And they want, may want to move, they may come in quickly, but yet may want to move the, this forward slowly in a more stable manner, if that makes sense. So what is this ornamental equinox release about for Pisces? Death, yeah, wow, <laughs> I can't make that up. So death is about release. It's about releasing things no longer serving you. Letting it go, letting it end, just let it be, releasing it, let it coming, you know, letting it come to an end because it's no longer serving, and then healing, transforming, and then moving on, new beginning, new way. So either you or them, and it could have been this past autumn, somebody released something no longer serving them here. Wow. And death is Scorpio, and that is Scorpio season, which that is in the autumn. That is um, end of October into November. So, wow. So anything else here for ornamental release, ornamental release for Scorpio. And now the Ace of Wands too. Wow. So another divinely guided brand new beginning here with the Ace of Stones. Now we have the Ace of Wands, fiery, passionate, go-getter, going after it. No. <laughs> After there is an ending with the death card, death is about endings, there's transformation healing, and then a new beginning. Here's the fiery, passionate new beginning. I mean, this could be you or your person. I feel like it's somebody you're dealing with. So there's a fiery, passionate, uh, exciting new beginning between you and somebody else. Or a renewal, but I'm not really getting that. I mean, it could be for some. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The star. So, and I had felt that divinely guided energy, faith, hope, optimism, wishes and dreams coming true. And we have here, your wishes are coming true. And this is wishes and dreams coming true. Divinely guided, faith, hope, optimism, energy, healing, healing energy. Wow. Somebody has healed and now your wishes and dreams are coming true. So stay and you'll have faith, hope, and optimism here. It's divinely guided energy. Wow. Pisces. Pisces. Wow. Okay. I mean, this could be your energy too. So like I said, however it resonates for you, Pisces. Pisces. Wow. Okay. So let's get a prayer affirmation for you, Pisces. What do we have for Pisces spirit, please? What is their prayer, their affirmation at this time? For Pisces, please. All right, I'm feeling this one. So we have here, blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with benefits, God of our salvation. So I feel like loads us with benefits. So I feel a lot of growth, abundance, prosperity coming in here. A lot of blessings, feeling blessed, thanking, you know, the universe, thanking whoever you thank here. And being uh, in gratitude also. Wow. Okay, <laughs> Pisces. Best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.